Trey Hendrickson has been one of the best players on the Bengals defense in recent years, and he wants to be paid accordingly again. He got an extension last year, and this came up yesterday. His agent, Harold Lewis, wants a trade if the Bengals don't give him a long-term deal. Wants more security. He's also considering retirement. That's part of the leverage that you play. I don't know how much money you'd have to pay back to the Bengals if he did retire. We'd have to look that up. But, but there's clearly some discontent there, and this is one of the byproducts of having a great team. You got players that want to get paid, and you got to find a way to hold it all together. Joe Burrow got top of the market. Jamar Chase is going to get top of the market. T. Higgins is trying to get his, and Hendrickson wants his piece of the pie as well. And hey, without him, I don't know that these Bengals will have been as good as they've been the past few years. No, I mean, he's a phenomenal player. I'm sure he's looking at it going, wait, what? I mean, what am I making compared to these other pass rushers? Wait, let me check the stats from last year. Oh, that's right. I was second in football in sacks. That's right. I had 17 and a half. So I'm sure he's disgruntled about that. But, you know, I think it's also he came off a year where you just talked about he just did an extension and did that. On a year where he had eight sacks, and he was like, wait, wait I didn't play good. Oh, yeah, you'll give me more money? I'll take that. Sure, yep, yep, I'll take it. It was only eight sacks. I need that more money. I don't know, no, no, Oh, I had a great year, and that's, that's I don't know. That kind of feels a little unfair. I'm in a year from an extension, and oh. here we go, and wait, I had a good year, and now I want to be paid significantly more, but, right? But I'm look at his numbers. Player. Look at his numbers. You. Right. 14-8. 14-8 this year. It's way low. Next year when the market's 34. It's, why did he agree to that? Ridiculous. Like, what was he thought? Oh, I, know. That's, I want to go it's why the agent's agent. fault. Agent. Exactly. Harold yeah. Lewis. Right. You, Harold Lewis trying to clean up his own. I don't know Harold Lewis. Trying to clean up his own mess by saying, give me more money because I – you know, my guy's upset. Why am I making less than 50% of the market when I had 17 and a half sacks? And, you know, sometimes yeah. the right thing to do if you're the team, the right thing to do is do give the guy. Yeah. If you got to do something. You got to make it right. He's only 29. He's not going to retire. No. So either give him something or trade him to someone who will. I think that's fair for him to make that request because it sounds like somebody negotiated a bad contract last year and somebody from the Bengals negotiated a pretty good contract. By the way, T. Higgins reiterated his trade request. Not a surprise. If there's going to be a Brandon Ayuk trade, I could see Higgins say, trade for me, trade for me and pay me. And it's weird because he said before that he's going to play for the Bengals this year. I just think he recognizes if he's going to get traded, Chris, now's the time to do it. Yeah, just remind everybody, right? Just one more time, put it out there. Will anybody make a move? Will anybody pay me, right? I mean, he's a damn good football player. Right, I think there's a case to be made in, in my in my world where I'd go. I'm not so sure. I wouldn't rather have T. Higgins than Brandon Ayuk. Higgins is one of those guys you can line up outside and just go. Let's see him take on this guy all day. I think I like his chances, uh, but I don't expect him to go anywhere. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.